transcend these limitations and give expression to that which, as man, John Smith, you find yourself incapable of doing. You take your attention away from your present limitations, or John Smith's conception of yourself, and merge yourself in the feeling of being that which you desire. Just how this desire or newly attained consciousness will embody itself, no man knows. For I, or the newly attained consciousness, has ways that ye know not of. Its ways are past finding out. Do not speculate as to the how of this consciousness embodying itself, for no man is wise enough to know the how. Speculation is the proof that you have not attained to the naturalness of being the thing desired, and so are filled with doubts. You are told, He who lacks wisdom let him ask of God, that gives to all liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given unto him. But let him ask, not doubting, for he who doubts is as a wave of the sea that is tossed and battered by the winds. And let not such a one think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. You can see why this statement is made, for only upon the rock of faith can anything be established. If you have not the consciousness of the thing, you have not the cause or foundation upon which thing is erected.